because we're going to see the horses soon and we're gonna I'm gonna take you guys with me and I'll get a couple videos of me riding and a little tiny family but I'm gonna tell you guys a couple stories what was I gonna say before I remember oh yeah also I'm gonna tell you guys all of my favorite horse youtubers and I'll link them they're like thing down in the description below so if you guys don't watch them i'm sure a lot of you do but if you don't you guys can just click on there and watch and some of them are like amazing but i'll i'll um share that with you guys later so yeah okay so first of all i'm going to tell you guys a story about two days ago when i was writing about he was doing really good there was like five other horses with me in that arena and it's actually it's a big arena like i literally love it so much and so i went well the other day and he was doing good and it was just like fun you know it was just like good and so i started trotting and he was doing good and then everyone left and they started to feed great and so i so basically i was leading a girl around on aspen just for fun and so then I had to finish my ride on Bill and so I was like well everyone left this is good so now I can he can focus on me he he started acting weird and I was just like okay like okay whatever I didn't start to get nervous because I knew he I thought he wasn't gonna do anything so basically he didn't buck don't worry he's never bucked with me he's bucked with us our, our our old horse trainer and one time he fell off, but one time he stayed on, but he's never bucked with me, thankfully. Um, I fell off him in the winter twice, but, and then I fell off him two days ago. And this is how I'm pretty sure it happened. And all that happened kind of quick, so this is how I'm pretty sure it happened. Um, so basically, I was trotting, and I was trotting back to the gate. I learned my lesson, don't do that on an untrained horse, because they were going to act crazy. So, I was being a little brainless in doing that, and so then he stopped really quick, stopped, like, quick, and it wasn't that sliding stuff that's like smooth, it was just like, like, that go for it, and put his head down on the ground, and I was like, oh great, he's gonna buck, and turn really quick, and so I went, boo, on, and fell on the ground. It knocked the wind on me, and it, it hurt, but I, I didn't get like hurt that bad. Like I'm sore like right here and like right here, my hip and my rib right here and like right here. Um, And then I was sore right here, or no, right here. And so yeah, um, but yeah, so that's what happened. And then obviously I got back on because if you fall off a horse, you need to get on no matter what, get back on. So I got back on, rode him a little bit more, and then I just lunched. I got off and lunched him, and then we were done, and he got put back, and he got put back and got his grain and everything. I probably shouldn't have given him grain, and I was not going to, but then I was like, I don't want to stand here and hold him, so I just put him back. That's me being impatient. I am not patient, just saying. Okay, anyways, so that's the story with Bo. So yeah, that was fun. But anyways, so now we're gonna go to our favorite or my favorite horse YouTubers. So first of all, I think right now my favorite, I have two tied right now. So if I'm pretty sure my number one is Fallon Taylor right now. She's the best. I was watching her, we had, we drove an hour today. And so I was watching her the whole way there and the whole way back. 
I love her so much. And the song she does with Baby Flux, I was watching some of her old ones, and then I watched her newest video, and I was like so happy. But anyways, so the song she does with Baby Baby Flow, Flaw Flow, was so cool. I love it. And then she passed it on to Lolo, and I was like, that is so cool today. And I was like, oh, I want to be like her one day. That kind of a barrel racer, you know? But anyways, so that's my number one right now. My number two, I'm probably going to say is Bailey Flower. I don't know how to say her last name because I wasn't, I never really paid attention to that. But her first name is Bailey. She's an amazing barrel racer, guys. Literally. If you don't watch her, well, any of these, if you don't watch, go watch them. Okay? Anyways. Number three is Hollow and Popcorn. I love them so much. And um, number four is, I'm trying to think. Oh, actually. Oh, yeah. Number four is this girl. I'm, I don't know her name. I just started watching her a couple months ago. Um, but it's like Braille Racing Training Help or something like that. I'm pretty sure. Braille Racing Training Help. Something like that. She helps so much. I have learned so much just from watching her. That I, if you're wanting to get into barrel racing and you don't know anything about it, go watch her because she's the best at doing that. And she's an amazing barrel racer also. So go check her out. Go check them all out, guys. Just, just go do it. Okay. Anyways, number five, I think so. Yeah, number five is Sadie, Sadie Miller. She's a really good barrel racer. I love those like shorts she does with like Chester and like the world's best barrel horse. Those are like hilarious. I love those so much. She hasn't been doing as many, but that's okay because we have been posting a lot either just because we've been busy and we are not with the horses right now. But she's really good. I really like her, so check her out. Um, anyways, number six. I love all of them, but these are kind of just like my favorites and I wouldn't say least because I don't I don't like not like any of them I like all of them that's why I'm telling you about them but like if I had to choose like an order my six is probably is this is me as me I really like her um the reason she's my lower one is just because she has jumping I don't do jumping but I really help, like her she helps a lot like she does not just how to do English writing or just English she well she does do just English but like she also does like what to put in a first aid kit how to bath the horse how to groom a horse how to clean tack like that is helpful stuff that everyone should know and well not everyone like horse people and like it's just helpful like yeah so you know but I love her videos. They're so fun. And I love when she does like, I love when like horse, okay, this is just me. I don't know if this is just me or not, but I love when like um, horse YouTubers go to tack stores and like do like tack hauls. I don't know why. I just love watching those. Those are probably my favorite. So yeah. But yeah, I love those all so much. But anyways, guys. Um, so basically I'm going, we're today going to go soon when it cools down, it's so hot and humid today. Um, we're going to go see the horses and give them grain and I got this stuff for Aspen, I'll actually show you guys, um, in a second, but I got this stuff for Aspen to help with her hoofs. She has white line disease on her, um, I think like three of her hoofs. So I'm giving her that to help. She also has shoes on now. We shoot her because I'm working her so much. Well, not. I was working her a ton, and I still am, but not as hard. I'm kind of mostly just doing techniques now, and she's getting fat again. But anyways, I was about to say bye, but I don't know. Should this be like a separate video? Should this be like part one and part two? I feel like, because this is already 10 minutes, and I don't want this to get like so long. So, yeah. So I think that I'm gonna just do two videos. So that way it's not too long. So I'm gonna I'm gonna post them like 
Saturday and then Wednesday. So that way you guys don't have to wait that long for like seahorse stuff because yeah. So anyways guys. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And <laughs> yeah, make sure to go check out all those YouTubers because they're literally the best. So I'm just gonna link um horse my favorite horse ones in order i'm probably gonna have to go back and check what they are and then write them because i'm not gonna remember it even though you'd be like well they're your favorites you have to remember but no i don't but anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up go check out all those youtubers right now and go sub to them because they are the best they will teach you so much i promise and if you don't act like you know it all if you act like you know it all, you're never going to learn anything. That's the truth. But anyways, thank you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.